I'm Josephine Chang. According to conventional wisdom, the days of lavish company meetings went out when the recession came in. Especially for companies that have taken taxpayer money or laid off employees, lavish events have generated bad PR. And that's hurt the convention business as a whole. A national survey by Meetings and Convention Magazine found that more than 20 percent of companies have canceled events because they're afraid of bad publicity. So in this climate, it's a bit unusual to find a company pulling out all the stops for a splashy, star-studded event. But that's exactly what one local company did for its employee meeting this year. Here's a look at the Aegis Living Company meeting and the CEO behind it. Their names read like a who's who list of self-help gurus. Wayne Dyer, Deepak Chopra, Jack Canfield, and on this day, country singing sensation Naomi Judd. As you watch Naomi work this crowd, it's hard to believe this is a company meeting. But it's clearly not business as usual. It has nothing to do with business. Nothing. Absolutely nothing to do with senior housing or ageist living or business. Nothing. In fact, we have a rule, you cannot speak anything about business while you're at this meeting. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. My goal, and what I'm really passionate about, is getting CEOs, getting corporate America to think differently about the cultures of their companies. Believe that as a company... For Dwayne Clark, chairman and CEO of Aegis Living, improving the culture of his own company is at the heart of this annual four-day feel-good event. This company meeting has one sole purpose to enrich the lives of Aegis employees. Dwayne came up with his innovative approach by taking a cue from the queen of talk. What I was captivated by was what Oprah was doing. And what she was doing is she was taking people's very human needs, often very personal needs, and she was being a facilitator to connect them to the appropriate expert that could meet that need. 300 women! Meeting the needs of people is the foundation of Aegis Living, a company that's a national leader in retirement and assisted living. Aegis, founded in 1997, is headquartered in Redmond, Washington, and operates 34 senior communities in Washington, California, and Nevada. According to Duane, caring for his employees helps them care for their senior clients. If, if you can get an employee to believe in you, and be loyal to you, they're going to be more effective, more efficient, more compassionate, give better service. And I, I look at me and I say, I'm a CEO, I'm one person. I'm caring for 3,000 elderly. How do I tell number 2,956 employee number that you should give good service? I can't just say that. I have to I have to teach that in some way. And then all of a sudden, I, I got real mad. It's this philosophy that convinced Naomi Judd to appear at this year's conference. As a former RN and survivor of hepatitis C, Naomi shares her story of hope because she believes healthy employees make healthy companies. The number one time for heart attacks, this is incredible, Monday morning at 9 a.m. Now what does that say? That so many people don't like their jobs. So many people don't like their work. They're actually working for a dying. They're not working for a living. Because Naomi is a motivational speaker and author, she's intrigued by Duane's approach of putting people first. He's helping these people look at their beliefs and values. And the detective work that I encourage people to do, I've never seen anybody like Dwayne. To have an event like this where he brings in people who are experts in the field of uh, what we call the science of happiness and encouraging people to become introspective, it blows my mind. I firmly believe Dwayne's commitment to his employees is paying off with low turnover and high loyalty. Well, he's an amazing person. I mean, he's brilliant. He's um, someone who guides other in their inner path for being better. This is his opportunity to feed us and not only develop relationships with other people, but get to know ourselves, too, in the process. Although most of his employees are devoted to Aegis Living and him, Dwayne's unorthodox management style has had some interesting consequences. Last year, I gave 
permission for people in the audience to leave, to quit the company. I invited them to. I invited them to leave with my blessing. We had three senior managers leave the company within two months. As a CEO of a company, you only want people who are passionate about being here every day. And once they lose that passion, you want them to move on to what they're passionate about. Dwayne's own passion comes from running a company where success is not measured by the bottom line. And he believes that putting people first is a management model that should be incorporated in boardrooms across the country. You know, we can, we can all go out and have great careers and we can make money and we can do things, but if you can make people's lives better, that's like an ultimate reward. That's a great legacy. Dwayne Clark says he owes all of his success to his mother. He was raised by a single mom and they were very poor. Now she lives in one of his luxury facilities and he's in the process of writing a book dedicated to her.